Welcome to Cool Rides of New England. Today we're going to do a little bit of work on the old Lincoln. Stay tuned. Vroom vroom. So one of the issues that the Lincoln has, uh, it has a very high idle at start. Then you want to uh, go ahead and start it. And we're gonna uh, put a little secret sauce, also known as seafoam, uh, down the, the carb, the carb, the throttle body, see if that'll do anything to maybe clear that up. If not, then uh, I've got a rebuild kit that I won't be doing today. We'll do it another day and uh, Go ahead, of course, today he doesn't want to do the high idle. Uh, it's not cold. Watch the cold have been the problem. What? I said, watch the cold have been the problem. Yeah. Probably it's the cold there. At some point, this would start seeping out some really uh, white smoke. Good, anyway. We'll see. That's a massive thing. What if it doesn't? Huh? What if it doesn't? No. Why don't you give it a little bit of gas then? Not, not a ton, just a little bit. Alright, so we figured that the throttle body, something's going to have to be uh, rebuilt. Um, I know I didn't shove a bunch of that uh, seafoam down there, but uh, I just know that it's going to have to rebuild it. Uh, I'm also going to put in an idle air control valve and a new throttle position sensor, because those are two things that I heard on the line um, were also pop causes, I should say, of the you know, idle. So we're going to do that. and. Uh, See where that takes us. Now we're going to move on to some tire stuff. Hey, you want to go in the shed and grab a flathead screwdriver? Sure. That's better. We might have to do what we were doing with the other car. Okay. There we go. Hopefully just that one. Maybe. Here, let's wear you up, Sam. Um, let's 
Let me go ahead and start this up. We'll put the pump in there. Unplug it. Yeah. Yellow. Yep. It's not a fast leak, but there's it definitely leak. something there. Is that it, you think? That's one. Could be more. Doesn't look like there's anything in the tread of the tire, so we're just looking at <clears throat> the leak around the bead back here. Um, go ahead and then uh, start the car and uh, bring me the, the soapy water and then. All right, so this you know, the car seems you know, a little droopy in the back, and we're trying to see whether it's the airbag that's the issue or or what. So. We took the, uh, put the tire back on and dropped down the, uh, the rear end again and we noticed that the whole thing is drooping pretty bad. So I'm thinking that the airbags need to be replaced, both of them um, might be an airline but it's really kind of hard to tell right now without you know, having it up on a lift. I really can't get it up off the ground plus the ground is still pretty soaking uh, from, you know, we had snow you know, here a few days ago. so. So we're going to just leave the, the back the way it is for right now and we're going to go inside and see how much all this stuff is going to cost. Alright, so here we are. We're on a website, which we're not going to wait, say, but we're going to kind of look at the stuff that we've realized that we are going to need for the Lincoln. And the list goes a little something like that. I know you can't read that. I'll read it off. Um, you're going to need some exhaust for work. It looks like the muffler and the tailpipe uh, those are both uh, the whole back is uh, now sitting a lot lower so I uh, checked to see if it's airlines that are the problem or whether both airbags need to be uh, fixed that's gonna take a lot more to figure out so we did notice the rear shocks are toast we need tires the throttle body has uh, never been rebuilt so we're going to do that. That um, the owner, the previous owner, uh, gave me a, a kit that he had already purchased for the rebuild on that. So that's something to do. Both driver's side window motors uh, need to be replaced. Something for later. Rear, uh, we need the chrome for around the rear wheel wells. And uh, I'm going to eventually switch all the lighting over to LED lights just so have better you know lighting and so that's uh that's what we're doing we're gonna look in here now we what on you're saying we're looking at the um 
Oh, what the hell? We'll say it. We're looking at rockauto.com. Hey, Rock Auto, if you want to sponsor some of this stuff, we would absolutely love to have some sponsorship on the, the parts for this. Shocks, Shocks right, right now. now. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go, you know, stupid uh, cheap, but, you know, you know, right now we don't want to spend a massive amount of money on it either. You so. want to go like a mid rate, like a Monroe? Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Okay. Tires we will be getting locally because, you know, that's right, not... Uh, go back. And your airbags. Okay. Is that also suspension? That would be um, oh, air. air spring. Okay. Or okay. The tire position sensor. It's cool having a secretary. <laughs> Five. By the way, that's my wife, Kathy. Kathy, everybody, everybody, Hello, everybody. Kathy. Support my husband's site. Okay, idle air. Control valve. Window motors. Let's that this. will be under interior. So my uh, secretary calculated up everything that uh, we're going to need for the car, how much it's going to cost total, and uh, what was that, Miss Secretary? The total, rounding it up, would be seven hundred dollars. Roughly seven seven hundred bucks, uh, and that was for everything that you saw us uh, pricing out. Plus, uh, we'd already priced out tires at uh, Town Town Fair Tire, and uh, you know they said about four hundred bucks uh, installed for uh, a set of tires for it. Thank you for watching this uh, video of the Lincoln. Uh, we're hoping that we're going to have that registered. Uh, by the probably the end of this week um, I really wanted to be able to take it out for our, our first ride but I don't think with the rear suspension the way it is it's going to be very safe to do so so uh, that's going to have to wait until after we've done a bunch of work on it but uh, as soon as we do we will have uh, that ride and you'll see all videos of any uh, work we do on the car thanks for watching have a day hopefully it's a good one